Roll VT1, track it and take it. Live on HDNet. From Launchpad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Talk to me, heads up, please. Mission to the International Space Station. This is NASA from HDNet. Now on two pad shot. Here's correspondent Greg Dobbs. And good afternoon in most of the U.S. and Canada. Good morning on the West Coast. There she is, live on your screen, Space Shuttle Atlantis, poised to launch less than 20 minutes from now. And as one of her astronauts told me last week in Houston, there's a sense of history here, because after 31 liftoffs, 31 successful flights in the last 25 years, today's Atlantis is probably the last. And then when Discovery and Endeavour fly later this year, it'll probably be the last flight for them as well. And I say probably, but for the un unlikely chance... I've never seen it live. Well, I'll take turns. Just minus minus 31 seconds. seconds. <laughs> hey, I've seen it a few times. I'll hit the audio. You get that. All right, stand by to go to pad shot. My favorite time in the world. All the rocket booster nozzle gimbal check. And the TV-1 is up. Bombing chain is on. Sounds like the water system activated. And T-minus 13, 12, 11, go sparkles. 10, 9, step by 8, pad. go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, Three, two, pad. Pad. 2, Take that shot. That shot is up. Stand by UCS 15. Take UCS 15. Stand by VAB. Take VAB. Maybe VAB is up. Stand by UCS 15. Take UCS 15. Stand by ET Cam. Go ET Cam. ET Cam is up. Standing by KSC. Roll VT5, rolling through to it, down, down five. VT5, you don't have it? Uh, take two, take two, take two. No, just leave audio. Okay. This is the shot 
taken from right next to where we are here with HD. Oh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, what's next? Don't what do you got for me? Uh, three or four. Okay, let's go. BT three next. Okay. Ever again. BAB is next. Be a spacecraft like this, at least not for generations. A ship that Negative. launches so like a rocket. Twenty or six lands even. like an airplane. Stand by BT three. It's Ready because three. Because since the Columbia disaster, 2003, when a piece That's of foam from the external fuel tank peeled off and hit the orbiter, and NASA roll BT three. Never again to roll put human three, beings jet. below the very top of any rocket lifting off. This is the shot from the vehicle assembly building where South Beach Tracker track there went from a horizontal position uh, to Phoenix. Uh, which one is that? BT4. BT4. That's, that's not Phoenix, Tracker. I don't think. But they can't hate Phoenix. Phoenix. You see on the right those is tracks that heading toward the launch pad. The crawler okay. at the, about half No, no, it's not Phoenix. It's not Phoenix. It's South Beach Tracker. From the, from the, uh, Stand by BT4. It's about a six hour trip. Roll BT4. South Beach Tracker. Through to it. Right, do we have tweet cam replay? This is from yeah. our is it any good? It's weak. It's weak. I speed it off. No one did any reaction. Yeah, the, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do uh, it. Yeah, lose it. Lose it. yeah what else we got? BT2. BT2 is next. Okay. That's Phoenix. Phoenix. It's kind of cool if I speed Maybe it off, you feel the camera on the It comes out of the clouds. Not grand, yeah. but it could be okay. Gotcha. Stand by BT2. Two and a half minutes away from main engine. Jay, are we trying to play the Hubble and Sun thing? No. Okay. He'll throw it in right in the last second. And stand by BT2. We're about six minutes into the flight. You're watching the launch about six minutes Roll ago. BT2. And now Space Shuttle Atlantis is traveling about 9,000 miles per hour. We call rising from the Phoenix ashes. And if she had to, at this point, she could still make Europe on just one engine. But again, I say that's only a hypothetical because. Well, uh, what about white room edit? Uh, edit deck. I can. I got to show you more replay. Do you have it or not? Now, as we wait for main engine cutoff, where thanks to the camera on the external fuel tank, you'll actually see the orbiter peeling off, or probably more accurately, the external fuel tank peeling off from the bottom of the orbiter. And the orbiter flies on zero g. Take one more look at this stunning. Mid-afternoon launch of Space Shuttle Atlantis in all likelihood after 31 launches, now 32 actually in 25 okay. years. Okay, all right, uh, VT, uh, VT1 again. Uh, he's got white room. Let's do white room. Okay, roll white room. Through to it. Tell him it's white room. This is, by the way, the white room. We always show you this scene because watch what happens. After this one live, after this one live, got it. Sixty seconds away oh, from the Look at that, man. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Right. As we wait for main engine cut off, a quick personal note. This is the 19th shuttle launch we've covered here on HDNet. But we couldn't have done yeah, any of it without one guy who's gotten us on the air almost single-handed. About half a dozen other people. And his name is Jeff Carmen, and today is his birthday. So, uh, for all of us at HDNet, for every one of you uh, to whom Jeff has given you the best seat in the house, there is separation. There is the separation. Happy Stand birthday, by. Jeff. Thanks to NASA for a and terrific display. Regular camera. Regular camera. Tell him it's on camera. And now, on the behalf of all of us at HDNet, Good luck to everyone at NASA in space and on the ground. To the rest of you, thank you for watching one of the last shuttle launches you're ever likely to see. Only two more on the schedule. So here's one last view, actually four of them, of what is in all probability the very last launch. And roll quad. I'm Greg Dobbs. Have a good day. Through to it. Quad is up. Give me a track BT1. Milk BT1 into it. Count you out of the last ten. There we go. Just so I can hear it. Give me my uh, full screen. They all get this one. Sweet. Awesome. Go full screen. And full screen is up. And make sure audio is hot on the. Yeah, I want to sting it on the end, Mark. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Beautiful. That's how you do it, Greg. That's how you do it. Good job, guys. Is very pleased. All right, do we need to push anything or do anything? Are we off? Are we done? That's what I'm finding out. Do we need to push anything or do anything? Check Denver.